So welcome participants to another episode of the Participant Testimonials Brain-Based Coaching Certification Program. Uh, today we are in candid conversation with Shruti Malhotra, the Head of Learning and Growth India for a very large, well-known multinational conglomerate based out of Germany. So welcome Shruti to this uh, session. Thank you, Swamin. Thanks for having me. Shruti, I'm going to ask you uh, some very simple questions and uh, I'm looking for some very you know, candid answers. Uh, the whole idea being that uh, people can learn from your experiences uh, about the Brain-Based Coaching Program and uh, and take the, the right steps. Now, as you know, uh, Brain-Based Coaching is a very popular program which has lasted 25 plus years in the, you know, in the coaching arena. And uh, so my first question to you is, what drew you to brain-based coaching with, with so many other coaching, uh, you know, available uh, in the market? Yeah, so, um, so I mean, I think a uh, very relevant question. Uh, there's a lot of investment of, of time and especially for professionals like us, it's not easy to, uh, you know, just go and finger on any particular course just like that. So I think one, we go with very strong reference differences in terms of our own networks and who's leveraged this so probably one of the reasons that we are having this conversation also is to build up on uh, you know uh, your own pool of uh, potential candidates who can look at this and be very sure that this is a very good course to enroll for so i spoke to my network and i of course read up uh, you know what uh, i spoke to you i also read up on what the course really entails uh, i think it's also beautifully designed in terms of uh, how it flows over a period of time so it's not you know condensed into two three days and then you're done uh, it's a journey and it's virtual so one of the best things for professionals like us and I have extensive travel in my work uh, this really helps that you know we can uh, be a part of this journey with a very strong cohort uh, to learn from so multiple things but these are things that made me uh, you know take this decision uh, thank you for sharing that uh, Shruti uh, picking up from uh, that word uh, virtual you know and uh, we know that uh, it's a very intense long program for six odd months and it can be quite daunting, you know, to to step into a program which is hundred percent virtual in nature. So, what's been your experience with virtuality? Yeah, um, I think initially when I saw the calendar, it was my reaction as well that it's going to be tough. And how can I commit my availability for six months all through, right? And uh, on those specific days, because it, you know, there are things that come up. Uh, NLI has been slightly flexible in that sense as well in terms of one odd time that I have to request for you know maybe joining back in a different uh, session with another batch so that was one flexibility I saw uh, but second I think virtually it didn't really make a difference thanks to you know I think the pandemic people have got used to working as well as learning in this style so it never occurred to me that I, the, you know, the impact or effectiveness of the workshop is any less than it would have been, you know, in classroom. So that wasn't a worry. Uh, commitment of time was a problem, but I also have attended calls while I was traveling. So I've attended calls from Europe. I have attended calls from, uh, you know, ASEAN in a different time zone. So somewhere this flexibility is a is a boom. It's it's a gift actually rather than you know a challenge and then i think another thing is that because it's a journey six months you uh, absorb what you're learning you reflect on what you're learning you also have peer you know connect with your cohort and all that somewhere supplements what you're trying to you know uh, fortify as a skill or a capability so i think it's a very well designed uh, journey and the virtual is no problem it was not a problem for me so, you know, the other thought I would like to seek from you is that coaching is seen by many uh, as a as a second career, you know, there's something that you do at the fag end of your you know corporate life. But we also know that uh, it's it's a great skill for leaders to you know, imbibe. So what's been your journey of leadership post learning how to become a, a, a good coach? Yeah. 
so multiple things that i have picked up uh, somen uh, and i would say that i picked this course up uh, not as something that i want to pursue as an alternate career but something that i wanted to uh, build as a leader in terms of capability so that was really uh, the reason why i took up this course of course we coach because i'm also in a role where you know you are actually managing and talking to executives and somewhere in your conversations you're constantly coaching so it's not really so much about a career but it's really a part you know a part of your life um so i think what has helped is uh, a few sessions uh, even some in we had a few mentoring conversations uh, where you'd remember that uh, you know i asked you this where somewhere you get judgmental about your coaches and your team members as well can they do it are they thinking right i think that goes away with this kind of a coaching intervention and experience that you invest in your coaches or your team members not being judgmental about it so that's one very big take away for me a uh, change in my uh, way of uh, you know thinking and uh, developing my team and second is listening as well so i think uh, being succinct being able to uh, let the other person think you know uh, for themselves uh, those things i think i have uh, kind of practiced and uh, learned a little more deeply uh, during the course so yeah that helps great so i'll come to my last question for the day uh, you know we pride ourselves for for being a very resource rich uh, program you know there, there's tons of resources that come your way uh, so my first question is were these useful are they still useful to you and second question is uh, you know if you were to uh, recommend brain based coaching uh, to other people what would be the one or two things that others should consider you know before they sort of look at uh, becoming a brain based coach yeah uh, so i think in terms of the resources uh, they're very helpful uh, they are well researched the content is very strong by itself you know so uh sometimes i think the attention span is low where you don't gather everything in a session but you can go back to your books your online content the practice videos the coaching recordings of uh, you know your experts and so much more that you can actually uh, then kind of uh, uh, pick up what's really the uh, the uh, the context and the understanding of the concept so resources are beautiful very deep very rich and i found them very helpful they're still with me in terms of at least the hardbound books and uh, uh, the recordings uh, that we once in a while watch uh, here and there uh, so that and i think for advice for others if they are looking at this course uh, one is they have to ensure they are invested in this course uh, in terms of the time uh, if you are on and off this course you will lose the track although i wouldn't say that they are necessarily connected because you're learning a skill in every session you're learning tools in every session but all of them are critical yeah so i think investment of time has to be consciously made that yes i will commit to it and uh, the second i think take it back to your team if you're a leader and practice it unless you practice it uh, i think it's going to be tough so it's uh, okay if you falter uh, even for me today i still frame long questions while i'm coaching my team i still uh, you know kind of uh, uh, are making uh, what do you say suggestions to them in terms of what solutions can they take up there are things that will come up you know you can't be a perfect coach in you know 3 months or 6 months as you've just uh, you know graduated but yes keep practicing and it helps uh, the, you know hone the skill so i would say that uh, practice and second be sure that you can invest this much of time this is fantastic and great advice uh, completely agree with you coaching is a different conversation and uh, that that skill needs to be practiced so thank you shruti very much for your uh, time today and we wish you a great journey in your coaching endeavors in future thank you so much thank Bye -bye. you so much thanks for having me